Hi, this is Mark Brungart with Promisec. In this session, I'd like to introduce you to our Agentless Asset Inventory module, which is available as an add-on capability within our Interspace application. In these economic times, knowing what you own becomes a strategic task. Experts and analysts suggest that before making, purchasing, upgrading, or rip and replace decisions, you must have all the relevant data, which you probably do not currently hold. Typical inventory solutions rely on agents installed on every endpoint, which are susceptible to disruption, often providing inaccurate or incomplete data. Furthermore, these CPU-intensive tasks are an antecedent that your data may be several months old. Leveraging PromiseX's unique agentless architecture, we are able to provide comprehensive software and hardware inventory for your network that is 100% accurate and up-to-date with negligible impact on your environment. PromiseX provides a complete list of installed applications, including where they are installed and last accessed. Administrators can use standard views or define specific inventory searches, for example, to determine the number of licenses that should be paid for. Hardware inventory is of crucial importance for companies. In large companies with average employee turnover, it's difficult for the IT department to keep track of what hardware is running on the network. This information is crucial for budget and support planning. Knowing what hardware is available can affect software upgrades, impact the time required for supporting users, and assist in crucial decision making and planning. Let's take a look at the solution. Hi, I'm Gio Morales and I will walk you through the Interspace Asset Management Module. Here's where we can define our intervals, our schedules. So by default we have every four hours, we have a start time, start date. Um, we can now change this to run it once, we can run it daily, we can run it weekly, or we can run it monthly. So now you have the ability to choose what time of day it's going to run. We're going to save that configuration. Once we hit apply, it'll ask for the name or it'll save the current configuration with the existing name unless you want to rename it. I opened up the inner space console. Within the inner space console, there's the inventory module. It looks like a cardboard box in the menu bar. I have that open. I just want to spend a few minutes in this video going over the different components of the inventory module. In our overview, we give you a list of the total number of hosts we were able to in inspect. We break it down by workstations and servers, so you can see here we have a total of 10, but four workstations, four servers. The complete number of hardware components we've discovered from those 10, complete number of applications, and then we have the ability to generate reports. If I click on our host tab, what we'll do is get a complete list of all the different hosts that have been inspected. What will be included will be the domain name, IP address, MAC address, along with the host name and operating system. Below in the application, we get the complete list of all the applications that were discovered. We can sort them by alphabet uh, alphabetically, by how many were found, how many different instances were found, um, or even by version if you're looking for a specific version within an application. Same can be done also for hardware. So as you see, we do a mass collection of all these uh, endpoints, hardware and applications without any specific uh, configurations looking for specific components. We don't use WMI, so we're very light on the network, and we're able to gather this information anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds from each endpoint, uh, not including the latency of the time it takes from, from the endpoint on a WAN link back. A couple of different ways that we can define our target audience. One is through domain, so it will automatically pull the, the, the domain that the server is a part of or any other domains that it sees. Let's go with our local domain. We can pull out a specific OU. Uh, based on either the credentials that the server has or if you have remote sentries with different credentials on different domains it will pull the OU from those remote sentries. Uh, for the purposes of our demonstration we're actually just going to pull in the entire New York City lab um, as, our, as our domain that we're going to import and you see that here as a domain kind of LDP query for that. We can also do it through IP addresses, through CIDR blocks, or I can even input specific host names or specific IP ranges. That's the target audience that we're going to do a complete inventory on. What I want to focus on right now is the ability that Promisec has to do uh, last application and also track the number of instances of an application have been deployed versus how many have been purchased. As you can see here, I've sorted the inventory, excuse me, the application inventory by the number of purchase licensed. We have we have purchased eight licenses for VMware tools. You can see that we have nine actually deployed out there. So we can actually drill down into that and find out which applic which servers or workstations have that and then be able to uh, create a job either using SMS or SCCM or some sort of third party tool to eliminate or uninstall or have a help desk person or a customer uh, client services person go out there directly and remove that software for them. 
For other applications, we can see where we're missing deployments. So let me sort that again by purchase license. Now we can see that we bought five licenses of Microsoft Office and uh, five licenses of Adobe Reader, but we haven't deployed that completely. So again, we should, we'll be able to get a list of which workstations have that, compare that to our domain or through our uh, current workstation list and be able to deploy it uh, to what, app, what systems are missing those applications. Now within that, within the ability to count how many uh, instances of each application are running, we also have the ability to inspect if the system has been used or when the last time the application has been used. We'll be able to drill down, uh, see which workstations not only have Microsoft Office, but at the end of the pa at the end of the inventory, see when the last time that application was accessed. So as you can see here, we have one that was accessed in December, excuse me, February 10th, February 21st, and February 11th. We actually have one one workstation that hasn't accessed Microsoft Office at all, and that's our Windows Windows 7-64-bit workstation. So as you can see. Uh, we pre-populate certain critical applications, certain common applications. We give you that information and we allow you to create ad hoc reports from there. The way you can create a report that's a little bit more portable is once you have the list of workstations that have the application you're looking for, you're going to go ahead and select multi-select, click the little save to uh, uh, button here, and at the bottom of the inventory you'll see there's a new file that's been created which is just a CSV file that you can double click and open. You can open it up in Excel, you can open it up in Word and edit and sort it however you need. Ideally, the right inventory management approach can ultimately save money and support business objectives. However, the process itself can be overwhelming, forcing CIOs to settle for less than acceptable results. Promisec offers a lightweight tool with heavyweight results. Promisec brings simplicity, visibility, speed, and accuracy to complex inventory tasks. The Promisec Inventory Management Module eliminates the most common inefficiencies, inaccuracies, and risks. Within minutes, an IT administrator can produce a complete, in-depth, and intuitive inventory report on an unlimited number of endpoints. Promisec offers CIOs the big picture with the most comprehensive look at software license and hardware component status. We allow IT executives to make well-informed decisions and positively support business growth. Thank you for watching. For more information about this solution, or if you would like a free, no obligation trial in your environment, contact us at www.promisec.com or via email at inquiry at promisec.com.